Look, Brendan, the bank has got to go by the new appraisal figures. You're upside down on your mortgage. How much do you need? I didn't come in for long, Frank. I was hoping that you would train me. Are you serious? Do it! I thought we agreed that we weren't going to raise our children in a family where their father gets beat up for a living. This role is so absolutely crucial to this film because if we don't believe that you as the representative of the family, that Tess as the representative of the family is worth fighting for to mm -hmm. those lengths, the story falls apart. Absolutely. So these guys spent months training together and living together to establish this relationship. What did you do to establish a relationship with Brendan as yeah. Tess? Um, you know, first of all, I was really lucky because Joel Edgerton is a lovely human being and very easy to connect to, so that was, you know, that was helpful and wonderful. Um, and he's an incredible actor and just great to work across from. Um, but also, uh, Gavin O'Connor, the director, he spent a lot of time with the both of us just going through the details of what this marriage was. And ultimately, that time spent affected the script. You know, I mean, as we would discover things about the marriage and details about the marriage, like the script would change to adjust to that, you know? And the fact that he was so collaborative and so open to that being the process really helped us to create what felt like a real marriage. Um, you know, we talked about what turns us on, what was the first time we kissed, you know, where did we meet, how did we meet, what are the buttons that get pushed that piss us off, or what, what does he do that irks me over and over again, you know, finding those little details of a relationship that kind of make it come to life, you know, sometimes it seems like it's a small thing, but those small things are what make something seem real. And um, just spending the amount of time that we did and having a chance to create a history of memories together so that by the time we were actually shooting, it felt like we'd had this whole marriage and we were just operating at a place of drawing from those experiences together. You know, it, it may not be this extreme as UFC, but I think we can all relate to the idea of wanting to support the man that we love, yeah. but being afraid that what they're going towards could be harmful to them and to us. Yeah. Was that something you immediately connected to, or did you watch a bunch of UFC to kind of feel the actual, the physical fear? That yeah, I mean, feel? I definitely was aware of the sport. You know, I, I watched the sport. We have friends have fight nights, and we go over and we watch together. I've been to, I've been to you know, see fights before, and um, I train as a boxer for exercise, so I understand it from a, you know, skill, logic, sort of strategy perspective. Um, but, you know, I, I definitely felt like uh, Tess was always in conflict over that. You know, she does want to support her man, but she also needs to protect her family, and she wants to keep that guy in her life, you know, and, and that's partly what's so intriguing about that is that that's how real life is. Every day we're faced with things like that that may not be that extreme, but you're faced with those decisions of like, well, this feels right, but maybe this is right, you know, and how do you reconcile those two things inside of you in any given moment? And women, especially these days, I feel like are juggling so many things. Women are raising kids, doing two jobs, having a career, loving their husband, trying to figure out how to, you know, have dinner on the table. You know, it's Speak, like, sister. you know, it's like they're, they're, everyone is spinning so many plates at once, you know, and, and where does your identity lie in all of that? And where is there time for you and all that? And what does it mean to stand up for what you believe in amidst all that? So, um, you know, Tess is juggling quite a bit internally and emotionally in any given moment. Um, and ultimately what I think is great is that in the end, the love is what really wins out, is that ultimately the love that they have for each other is stronger than any conflict that they could have or any fight that they may have, that ultimately they have that foundation of love for each other and she is gonna be there to support him. We've got these two protagonists in this film and obviously Tess is rooting for her husband, Brandon, mm -hmm. but are you as an audience member ever torn about who you're rooting for? I think Tess is torn, not because she wouldn't root for her husband, but when she sees those two brothers fighting and she knows how much her husband loves his brother, I think it's just almost impossible to watch that fight. I mean, certainly she doesn't want her husband to lose and she doesn't want him to get hurt, but I felt sick watching that fight because I really felt like she was so aware of her husband's love for his brother and that this had to have been one of the hardest things he would ever do in his life. Okay, thank you. Sure.